Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I am making this wonderful little um, tag folio, tag album, I don't know, tag thing um, that I've made. It's got a flip out end out of index cards. This is two index cards. So I've been doing index cards lately. Actually, this one is not made out of index cards. It's made out of paper, uh, six by, two six by four pieces of paper. Coloured exactly the same because all I've done is co covered it so it looks exactly the same anyway. I can tell which is which because I've used a fluted edge circle there. <laughs> so no, that's a fluted edge circle. That's not obviously. That looks nice actually, a fluted edge. And um, I have actually done the design differently on the front because I'd realised I wanted to put a label there. And I thought, oh, yeah. So that's got journaling spaces if you like. It also, I've nicked the tags from it. So this has tags as well. So you can make it like that or you can make it with index cards as I do on here. Exactly the same measurements and everything just that I've had to cover it and I've also had to do a bit with this as well, well I decided to do as you will see so I've got a random bit of thingy there because I like that idea, a little patchworky idea there okay oh, so lovely. and it folds like that and eventually it will actually fold like that and you can slip it in a pocket or you can clip it to a page of your journal and um, send Ephraim, uh, send it as happy mail, send Ephraim it's do a swap, actually I've sent, this, I've sent these in a swap I'm sure I did because I can't find them anywhere and I've thought I've probably sent them in a swap, but I kept the, uh, wherever the other one is, the little one. They actually have made them small. So this, it's this size, it's, this is three by five, so I made a three by five. So exactly the same, you don't need to measure anything because it's, uh, all it is is folding things in half. Okay, and that goes in there. Why have I taken all my tags out? I don't know. So there we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that goes there. Oh, and I did that. Um, making a circle punch, folding the circle in half and then just cutting out with a smaller circle punch to make that shape, both of these as well. And then the little one as well, if you wanted to do that. I've also done lots of faux stitching on this as well. Yeah, the idea came to make a journaling thing because of this. <laughs> well, I can make it into a little journaling thing, yeah. If you want to, you can decorate it completely and everything, can't you? Do you like, yeah? Just, just take the idea and and take it apart okay oh sorry it's really close Oops. <laughs> there we go now you can see the mess that's the trouble anyway so let's go so this is what we're going to make today a taggy thing and i'm going to do a very similar that as well so that should be good right so i'm making this today this is the prototype i did earlier but i didn't do this actually from index card which i'm going to do now i did it from card that is actually coloured that but the point is index cards in fact <laughs> I, need, I want to show you how to um, how what you need to cover and where and everything so uh, where's my thing ah oh. right so I need this and, and this is one of my own papers from the I'm going to use this end I adore this end uh, it's got lots of different colours and everything. Yes, yeah, so this is part, this is scrap of pur purply faded uh, gel press uh, uh, copy. Um, made into purple from the brown. This Magrid Mar does uh, like blues to yellow, oranges. I can't do pinks or anything. <laughs> It'd be funny if I could. Probably do loads of pinks if I could. Right, so I'm going to get this bit here. Um, I'm going to make it. Um, a bit bigger, say half of that. I would say half of the. In fact, I could. Why not? I could. Let's see how many I've got. I'm going to need to put it on seven actually because we seem to be a bit close, don't we? So I'm going to put uh, right instead of doing that. Let's get my ruler out. And why is the dog wandering about? Yes, get on the chair. I told you to. That chair would be warmer on there. Told him to get on the chair and he didn't. <laughs> get on the chair, you no, know, you know, sort of thing. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Some of that, never mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cover. I'll show you why. I'll tell you why when we cover it. You don't have to use that. You can use actually card, can't you? As I showed you. But the point is using this. I'm going to cover that. So I'm going to first of all get rid of that little sliver of paper. Has decided to join me and glue it now this is a new glue I early oh, was it in the other video I was using <laughs> was a dip oh, I don't know was a dip in the 
might have had to dip the glue in water because I left that it actually does work <laughs> if you wanted to know it does work glue, dip in the glue in water that's no, finished now the other one um, if you leave the lid off for how many days I left it off I left it off several days so it did actually work strangely enough believe it yeah some more slivers look like hair it's actually slivers of paper because what I was doing earlier I was cutting little slivers off so it looked things looked a little bit better okay so now I'm going to cut the corners like this obviously not cutting the actual corners otherwise you'll still show through I don't think about it that much you could ink it up if it does if or ink it ink that bit you know, whatever colour is appropriate or you liked. Okay, so now I'm going to glue. The reason I'm doing this is because we're going to have thumb notches. Well, I am. I don't think you'd have to do it unless you are having thumb notches, actually. So... I'm going to have some thumb notches, yeah. So I'm going to do, for some reason, I've decided this is the best way to go about it, doing that first. I don't know why, I can't remember now. But there might be a logical reason behind it somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember, it was yesterday I thought of that, so can you imagine I've been asleep since then? So, <laughs> yeah, there we go, that's the bit I wanted to keep. Never mind. So I like that, but it's okay. Yeah. There we go. So that bit's fine, and I'm going to push this, push it down with the beautiful yarn. Why didn't anybody tell me about these? I see you've all, probably some of you've even got them. So if there's anything else you might think I find interesting, why is it making that squeaky noise? Let me know. Yeah, see, I can do that, and I can, and it's like it's all joined now to the. Yeah, well, it's my fault because I, I obviously heard about them before. I just completely ignored anybody who talk, spoke about them because what was I concentrating on? I wanted an actual bone folder made from bones. So if anybody did mention it, I probably would have, I would have ignored them anyway. Right. You only need to cover um, half, some of it, uh, that. You need to cover that ridge. I might actually only do it to the edge there, but I need to make sure there's some around so I'm going to do is cover it there then cover it there but I don't know if it's going to be enough yeah shall we see shall we see if there's going to be enough there's not going to be enough is there but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm like that that's what it's like I'm afraid being me yeah there we go you know doing these things and then realizing there's probably not going to be enough but um doing it anyway there we go yeah which bit do I like the best oh I could do it like that couldn't I but do you know what do you know what that might be a better idea I'm going to only cover I think I need to cover about half of it you only need actually this bit behind oh there's got obviously I've got glue there what am I doing um <laughs> can imagine that yeah, again glue doing that and then getting glue yeah okay right so again using this very good glue spread i've just tried it on some what did i do covered something to make some then butterflies some butterflies and went like this and it went on the, onto the table it's amazing i'm just trying not to get it onto the table oh i don't know whether to um i've got to cut it now haven't i So I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Mm, that's already cut. This is why we get the slivers, because obviously I've got to cut off things that hasn't quite covered properly. Okay, I'm going to cut this without cutting the actual index card, and then I'm going to glue it down a bit better, or try. I'm hoping that's not going to be too short. 
Right, so I'm going to try and see if I can get that to there. If not, then I'm going to... Might not have enough glue, which dried or something. Let's see, yeah, it's not enough. You could actually just cover the back and then put a panel wherever you want. <laughs> I just wanted to know if I could do it. Right, so I'm going to have to cut that off, look. I think they're close enough. Just thinking about what Patricia May said about got some relatives, possible relatives near her. Ooh. Well, if it's a um, unusual name, it's very likely, isn't it? Right, I know that I've got like a family oh dear. <laughs> I know I've got a, uh, a family of um, Uffindels, I don't know if that name's died out in this country. Uffindel, it's very, uh, I love that name though. <laughs> it's a great name that is. Right, um, right. And I'm going to, but you'd only need to cover about half of that if you did. I mean, I'm, you might, you wouldn't need to actually cover that bit, <laughs> only that bit. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know whether to take that off or should I just fold it round anyway? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I don't know. I'm going to cover it. Yep, yeah, decided. Up to about there. That'll do a lot, won't it? And that won't matter if it's like that. Okay. It doesn't matter whether that's upside down or the right way at all. So this one needs folded in, folded, folding in half. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's got glue on it, which it has, apart from the we don't tell any of this side, we only want it to, it doesn't matter if it's any in there. Very careful, this is how I fold it, fold it like that, crease that and, fold, and then I get those together and fold like that. I don't know if anybody else does that, that's how I do it. Right, that's, I always do that and I want it to be really neat. very difficult for me to be really neat you know <laughs> so so i have to do these things i just spotted some glue so i've got my glue cloth and i'm going to just right wipe that both sides because we don't want any glue on there that shouldn't be there do we okay and the same with this it needs to be folded in half that's upside down so it needs to be that way around it doesn't matter it's upside down now. It does not matter whatsoever because we won't see the lines. I think <laughs> I think you fold this back. Let's have a look. Yeah. So it's against your uh, fold there. made this up last year <laughs> I made this up last December so that's actually coming up the right way around now so so we've got right this is correct now that sits on there like that and that bends round like that same as that <laughs> I'm getting myself so confused here so you now would cut a let's, let's do that now You'd now cut where that we've got where the little bit is at the end. Cut a thumb notch if you like. You don't have to cut a thumb notch, but I like to have a thumb notch. There we go. And then a thumb notch here too. Okay. Make sure it's sort of in the middle-ish. There we go. Yeah, so that would go there. I don't know if we, that needs to be there. Okay. 
Bit one crease now, ironing out the crease. There's a lot of things in the way. Come on out, 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 out. Oh, but for later, brush. Okay. So let's now glue that without any further ado. <laughs> so, I don't, so I can know where I am. Oh, I don't like this. Where's the. Um, don't like these ridges. Go on, ridge out. Still gonna have a ridge in it. Yeah, never mind. Right, okay, so I'm now gonna put this in. Ignore that ridge. Keep doing it. Because I didn't have the pin in early and it's moaning. Okay. So that's you, why you'd only need that other panel behind, so you'd have that. Okay, I'm going to glue that down. I I didn't realise that I'd have to be glued until just well until earlier. Right, okay, so that would need to be that. So you probably need to do that a little bit longer. No ridge, please. Right then, so now we're doing like this. Um, making sure that's got plenty of room there, so fold it right back. Okay. And you could use all the same papers if you like. Look, see that, that made that a lopsided. So I'm going to do that and just push it back until that's not lopsided. And I'm going to put a little tiny Weeny, what, sixteenth of an inch? No, thirty, thirty second of an inch or a millimetre. That's a good idea, isn't it? And then I'm going to put some glue down here. This is why I've glued that bit <laughs> so it doesn't come up. Oh, look, look, I'm trying to look. You, you want to see it, don't you? There, and I would say, oh yeah, there you go. Look, oh, look, <gasps> good glue coming up. Looks a bit close to that. I don't know yet. Let's have a look. Not sure. There's never been a problem yet. Oh, come on. Never been a problem yet, but who knows? So I'm going to try and put that down without having a problem there. Okay, so it's 30 second of an inch. Make sure it's touching the bottom both there and also the top, which it should be. It's all got a... Then what do we get? We get this cloth just to make sure it's down. Did I, what did I do that? Oh, I left a space. I left a space on that one, so that's what I did there. I'll show you in a minute when we do that. When we come to doing that, okay. And that, let's get our oh yeah, love that. It's brilliant. Oh dear, we've got looks like we've got a bit of white there, so we can see to that, and that's fine, yeah. So we get that nice little thing there, which I don't mind at all. I don't know if you do, but I don't. That's great. So you, if you want it all the same colour, then I would do it all the same colour, but then you probably depend what colour you used on here, that's going to be sort of a journaling spot. Yeah, I suppose you put another another index card on top, but what's the point of that? Right, okay. Um, now, what was I going to use? I think this, actually. This is part. This is nice, isn't it? Then I could use that bit, actually. Perhaps cutting that little bit of sliver of white off there. Hmm, have I got a thing to cut off a sliver of white? Have I? Have I? Oh, hold on, let's see if that would... I know you can cut... Which one am I doing? This one. I'm going to try and cut, cut off this sliver of white because there's a little tiny weenie. Let's get rid of that. Little tiny weenie. It did, obviously, it didn't print brilliantly. But I want to keep most of that because it's sort of like... Ooh, let's have a look. I think we'll do it. There you go. Yeah, it has. It's got rid of that. 
Yeah, so I want to keep that bit. <laughs> uh, this is faded out. This is a copy of faded out uh, this. Uh, is it purple as well? I think I think I might change the colour a bit. So going towards the blue on the printer. I'm going to do that corner and I'm going to try and get it up there. In my prototype I didn't manage that. So I want to get it up there. So let's try. Can we see? Uh, let me see if I can show you here because that's a bit more a bit more um, consider of, considerate of me, isn't it, to put it there. Yeah. So I'm going to get a big pencil. Make a tiny mark here. But I'm, I'm talking to you and you're not listening. Told you. Look, switch yourself on. <laughs> Right, so what I've done is I've cut that at three inches. It turned out to be exactly three inches. So, and then I'm going to just go to the other mark, which is there. I don't know whether it's going to be there. And you might need to cut a sliver off depending. Okay. Which I was just telling you, but you weren't listening. You also didn't know about the paper falling by itself either. We had had some paper fall over there by itself for some reason. That's, I'm going to try and make that as big as that one. Okay, um, that, now that does bother me a bit. Should we try and move it in a little bit? Oh no, no, I want it round against... That one's not against the edge though. It doesn't have to be against the edge. Have a nice gap, yeah. Looks quite nice with that brown round the edge too. So what I'm going to do now then is make a thumb notch in the middle of this. Uh, I don't think I rounded any corners. <laughs> that's going to round the corner. I mean, that's going to <laughs> round it. Because I'm thinking about rounding the corners, I think. Now I'm making a thumb notch. No, I'm not, but not soon as that would make a... Would that bother that corner there? Would it make a thing? Or will it be glued down nicely? Hmm, I think I might have to put it up against that edge, actually. Yeah, you could, have, you could easily have that showing, couldn't you, really? But... Um, Perhaps I could have covered it with something. It's underneath there. Yeah, you could actually cover that there with something underneath there if you don't want that showing. But I'm going to have to live with that now, aren't I? Because of what I do. Uh, unless. Unless. Oh, I did that. I did that somewhere. I did that joined. So that's. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I keep thinking that's joined. It's not. No, it's not. I didn't do anything about that, but I could do. I could actually join it with something. Um, looking at the material, but I don't know. I mean, the fabric. Only because of the creasing of the paper. So, we could put that something like that there. Yeah, I don't know about something like that. Not that, not the whole thing, but something like that. Just for the sake of it. It's not my papers. This is actually origami papers, like my papers. <laughs> I'd be forgiven if you look, thought it was. Yeah, you're thinking, oh, thank you very much. It looks like my papers and it's professional printed. Yeah. Right, I might use a bit of that for a laugh. So, so what I'm going to do... <laughs> Oh, I'm going to glue that down first, and I'm going to glue it against there, and I'm going to put a, that there. It would have been easier, as I said, if I'd put something underneath there. Perhaps just a, a piece of that, or something else. Something like this, even, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it like that, then. Uh, yeah, of course. I was actually tempted to do it there. Why was I going to do that? I don't know. So I'm putting that down. 
with the yeah you see see I make all the mistakes just so you don't have to as I say I can push that to the side the glue and across the I think I'm definitely gonna have to need gonna need a something there to stop that buckling because I'm sure it will yeah there you go it does so I'm gonna put that pretty paper there just for the sake of it could be washi tape could be anything could wash bit of washi tape be nice but I've got that and I thought yeah I'm gonna use it I've got this and I'm gonna use it and that should prevent that from showing that, that terrible if you can see that that hot can you actually see that I don't know if you can see that very well, it's quite how far away, isn't it? Let's put it on one. One, let's move that up there then. Or we can move that down here. So then we can do that. Okay, so I've put that all the way to there and all the way to there. And I'm going to take that off. This origami paper should be fine at being folded because it's... Um, meant to be folded isn't it? Some of the papers I've used um, actually, uh, what do you call that thing? Cracked is it? Cracked. When I was using them for things like this and that last project I did, I think it's the last project, the project with the flip, was it flip? Flip, flip um, thing when I've got this sort of thing and I've got a flip inside yeah and i had to change it to an eight by six instead of a six by six paper yeah that goes in there yep that's worked yeah so that's why you need that in there okay let's have a look see if it's all straight yeah and i don't mind that at all i quite like that little bit showing there it shows it's made of substance doesn't it not just a I think, right, okay, can I cut that now? No, I can't cut that either because that would... No, that's fine, we'll leave it. Right, so that's basically your bits, right. Okay, so for the inside you've got, you'd need a three and a half by two and a half card. And the same for that, I think. I'm looking for my card. <laughs> Where is it? So what I've got is... Yeah, what I did earlier, <laughs> and I put the that tab there, so I've inked it up so it's not plain white paper. This one is, oh that one's for that one, sorry, that should have been for that one. It should be slightly bigger. Is that paper, is it? I think it's card, isn't it? So that go in there. That would go in there. This is these are three by three and a half by two and a half. That's not oh yeah, well. And that is I think it's an inch and something. Mula please. There you are. Right. Inch and three eighths by three and a half. As you might expect. And that goes in here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same decoration as before. Um, well, that's a bit uh, shorter than that, isn't it? Not, I thought it was about the same size. I don't know why that happened. Right. Might be because this, I've put that slightly down. Yeah, so if you want that, you could want that the same, you have to watch that, okay. So it need to be sort of the same like that, I suppose. I suppose it won't matter if one of them was short, so you could see the other one. Without. But anyway, let me show you the decoration I did. Right, yay, let's find it. A big punch. Ooh. I don't suppose that would work. I've <laughs> got that one instead um 
I think I don't, I don't think I used paper before. I used actual card, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's get some patterny things. Even get that one up there. Yeah. Uh, or should we try and do this side? Quite like that thing there, that side, that little thing with that in the middle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it all. Uh, would if I moved it up there. Of course, it's not going to do it, is it? Yeah. Right, raggy bit. Yeah, that's the trouble with doing it single sheet. We did a bit of a, a um, thing, didn't we? Well, that's going to be covered anyway, that bit is. Yeah, that would be all right, wouldn't it? That nice fluted effect. And then I'm going to get some watercolour around that watercolour, watercolour pencil for around the edge. So I'm going to put this water on first. It doesn't actually make the pink one, which is strange, isn't it? Because I thought it would. So now I'm going to do this, and I might do it fast because it's going to take a while, isn't it? I don't know. Uh -uh. So there's that, and I said I was going to have that at the top, didn't I? There, like that. Okay, that won't matter. Right, so I'm going to glue this on, or glue it on. Let's see, and I put something at the top, so I might put it a little bit lower on purpose, or a little bit higher on purpose. What's in the corner? Nothing, is it? No. Hmm. Let's have a look. Now, normally with um, design, you'd leave a bigger gap at the bottom than you would the top. But if you're going to put something in the corner, for example, you might need to lower it. So I might put that a bit further down because I did put something in the corner and I didn't make it actually low enough, did I? So let's put it there. Okay. Oh, look. Ha ha. I'm making it more. Oh, I did a bit. <laughs> Made it a little bit. Oh, dear. <laughs> Made it a little bit. Oh, dear. It has come off. Yeah, it has. The ink has come off. That's quite nice, actually. Look at that. Yeah. I like the way that happened. So I can do a bit of that. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Make it even more distressed. Poor thing, making it distressed. So cruel. Right, there we go. There we go. So that would, so you could perhaps do that. You could perhaps put a bit of water on and make it dep dis depressed, not depressed, distressed. Okay, I've caught some butterflies on. I've only got one purple one, so a little purpley. Let's do that one first. I'm going to put... And, yeah. Yeah, so that one I've done. So that one will be through the middle. So, in fact, that one actually sits, so it did last time, in the middle, right in the middle there. But I need to check, obviously, because I've moved it down a bit, so it might not do. And I'm going to find out which other one. I want to do the distressy ones. That one, yes. That one. Or that one. We have those two. They're all quite nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some pattern around here. Oh. <laughs> that's not good hold on a minute I'm just going to glue that back on because I want this one it's got stuck to my finger we're a disaster city aren't we today So now we're going to arrange this. Uh, that's more red, isn't it? And that's probably more yellow. Let's see if I can get that in the middle. I think I've decided it looks better in trying to make them fly. Oh, I suppose you could. But I think I'm going to just do them straight, same as I did the first time. Yeah, in the middle, that's going to go there. You could obviously make it go at an angle, but yeah, you could actually. Try this again. Give it a good. Right, so I'll just push that up first. It's not gluing, is it? Well, it's nothing. 
Right, and then the, the yellow one's going here because that's more red down here. Oh no, you can't see. <laughs> the yellow one's going there because that's more red down there, okay. Let's get that one more. Yay. I have got, I said I'm recording, aren't I? <laughs> no, me, I'm not recording. Right, that goes there. And I wish we were going up there as well. Let's get that so I can see it. Okay, and I can, oh, come on. There we go, oh dear, look at that lot. Okay. Just have a look, see how far that might have to go up like that. Hopefully, it can see it quite well because it's got the black around the edge now. Right, I'm going to do the antenna. That's sort of like do that. Oh, so all we've got to do is do two lines and two blobs. Lines and blobs. Yeah. Lines and blobs. There we go. And then what I did was, what did I get? Oh, it's a piece of my own paper. Where's that? Um, <laughs> A piece of my own paper. Ooh, recognise a piece of that. Ooh. Um, what to use for the under so I can put a piece of something on there. What I'm going to do is just cut a piece, like a bit like a label. Okay, and instead of doing what I'm normally doing, see how big, I didn't do this last time, I'm going to actually use some of that and that. Let's see how big you would need it. I'm going to cut off, dear. Yeah. Why do I always do that? Make one end massive, one end tiny. Um, like that. So I'm going to put off in between there. You're thinking, what on earth is she doing? What this woman doing? Right, what you'll see one day. Just put in some... Um, watercolour around there. Again, I'm going to use that as it is. Instead of inking it up, because I've done these on, on video and I've inked them up, just took a piece of anything, any part of a picture, and sticking it on there as a label. Simple. I've got a video all on that, you know, and it's, it shows you that you can use anything. Okay, well, there, I've got a little... Oh, can't see that on video, but I've just got a little spot of glue suddenly appeared. <laughs> I don't think it when really, it squeezed it. So that can be put... They could also put a word there, obviously. Okay, but that looks fine, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks fine. So this would be actually all journaling spaces, if you like. If you don't like it as journaling spaces, you may, of course, apart from glue bits down that aren't glued, is to decorate it any way you like. But some, put some more, but in fact, you could do that. Could use some of these, couldn't we? Put some of these in. I don't know. Oh, yeah, like that. I've got three, we don't think that'll fit on there. Um, no, we'd have them that way around, wouldn't we? That look, look best of that one. Right, so I'm going to put that one there, actually. This, these are backed by card with card. Or, if you like, card stock. Um, okay, we just say card. Any card to me is just is card stock. Okay. I mean, we do, a lot of people on YouTube have noticed the British people started to say card stuff as well, so you can't, um, yeah, it's because obviously we get a lot of American um, people watching. <laughs> Look at that, it's not even glue, it won't glue, come on, glue, dear. There we go. Oops, Let's see if it can come there. Oh, I think it is, you know. Oh, <laughs> nearly. Yeah, I've got a bit of my thumb, I can put it under there. Yeah, there we go. There, we can do that. And we can also wipe it as well, make sure there's no glue on there. And I'm going to put some black around it in a minute. I'm going to do it after. I'm going to do it the other way around. You can't do it, I suppose. Why not? I'm only putting two on. So I don't think there's enough room on the other one. Okay. So I'll just put that one there. Oops. Oh, come on, glue, glue, glue. Let's see if we can get to persuade it to to come down that way. And it might do, you know. This is quite these are I'm really impressed with this. Usually. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna see if that's dry in a minute. I'm gonna put this 
around the edge. Oh, don't they make a pretty um, those gel press? Oh, they do make a pretty. Yeah. And then your printer can mess about and do all sorts of stuff. So now I'm going to get that. Where is it? Where did I put me? Um, it's over there, Heidi. Oh, let's get that over there. Okay, I'm just doing it ever so rough. I'm just doing it, you know what I mean? Not even trying. Just thinking, I wonder how Ellen is. I don't know why she's not. Uh... Oh dear, what are we doing? I'm showing you. Ellen, I'm wondering how Ellen of Germany is. She like my stuff. Yay. She must be busy, perhaps doing something for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, there we go so ellen hi if you're watching <laughs> hi if any anybody um anybody's giving me a thumbs up thank you so much i really do appreciate it just help my videos to be shown by to other people and helps to share it around so if you give me a thumbs up that's what will happen to that and anybody who's subscribed to my channel thank you so much that is amazing and it does help my channel to grow so that's amazing thank you so much and um also got a facebook group hazy crazy arts where i've actually got these um papers all these papers i have not got those on there yet because i'm looking to see if i can get them on buy me a coffee or something and and on youtube itself because some people can't get on facebook so show me i've got a, a smaller version of that for there isn't it <laughs> Never mind. Oh, another thing I did was um, some st faux stitching, which I think would look nice. Did it in, I'm doing it in that crayon. Yeah, you could do that. No problem at all. Yeah. Let's see if we can show you what I'm doing because I'm not. Uh, yep, yeah, I can do it like that. Oh, oh, that's a bit here as well, yes. Okay, I could well, I'll tell you what I did on one of them. It looked really nice. I think it might be that little one. No, it wasn't. It was one I, I think I've given them away. That's why I don't, I did something like stitching on here like that. I think it looked better than that. <laughs> Actually, a bit better than that. I'll have to do that about the same way, won't I? Yeah, it looked really nice um, on the original I did. It's like I'm going to have to do it like that same, won't I? <laughs> Never mind. I suppose I could do it different. You know, like um, it was actually sewn. I thought, oh, I didn't know I'd sewn that. I mean, I thought, oh no, I didn't actually. Well, that's quite interesting. I thought, Ooh, so it looks really good and exciting, doesn't it? There we go. So these have got, even though they're very subtle, they've got lots and lots of different colours in them, which I absolutely adore. And this, it's got blue in it, green in it. That's I made it. In, that's the brown one made into sort of like going into the blue when I adjust it. Mine says adjust on it. I don't know if that's what yours would do. Um, I think I've made it like that. Actually, on the group, I might have made them the same size as they are. On the papers, I've managed to make them the whole sheet on, my, on what I've done. I've uh, uh, cropped it, so I managed to make it the whole sheet. Well, there's the thing. Oh, I can't on there. Oh, I've got a little bit on some of them that's got like a little bit of um, newspaper print or print. So I do hope you like this today. So I've almost said goodbye, haven't I, really, because I've said all my bits. So let's put in there. So lots of journaling. So you can use that side as journaling and all that. Or whatever you like. You could put the things in there. You could put um, information on these instead or information tags. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Ephemera and stuff. 
Yeah, I've done those. Yeah, I must have. I put the antenna on. I have, and on there as well. So five butterflies all together in there, y'all. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that would need to be a bit longer for this one, wouldn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah. Lots of cool. Yeah. Right then. So I say goodbye now, and I go and introduce this. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you.